Assalamu alaikum and welcome to science class my lovely kids. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Let's begin our today's class. So as you all know the subject we will study is science and we will be covering page number 62 from your interactive science book. The title of today's page is Animal Groups. In the last uh, classes, we have discussed about groups and different plant groups. So from today, we will study about animal groups. Animals are also divided in different groups based on their similarities. So we are going to see what some very famous and very basic animal groups are. The new word that we will learn today is backbone. Backbone. I want you all to repeat after me, please. Backbone. Very good. What is a backbone? A backbone is a set of bones along the middle of the back. So our body is made up of all different kinds of bones. Okay. We have, we have a skeleton inside us and that skeleton is made up of bones like you can see on your screen as well yes so these are different bones and the one at the extreme right hand side of your page is the backbone that's exa that's exactly in the middle of our back okay So kids, I want you all to open page number 62 on your book. Page number 62, the title of today's page is Animal Groups. Animal Groups. What are groups? We all know that groups are when we combine or when we put together anything based on their similarities. They could be living things or non-living things as well. So today we will see on this page that how we can group different animals. Very good. Let's start reading. One group of animals has back bones. Yes, yeah, so they are saying that animals are also divided into many groups. One of the main group of animal they have back bones. So different kinds of animals which have backbone in them we can put all those animals in one group okay what is a backbone as we studied in the previous slide is it is a bone that's exactly in the middle of our back so a backbone is the set of bones along the middle of the back yeah next line mammals are animals with backbones yes this is a backbone what are mammals? All these animals like llama, lynx, mole, monkey, mouse, and iguana, horse, otter, ox. All these are examples of mammals. Come on, repeat after me this word. Mammals. Mammals. Mammals is a group of animals that have backbone. Keep that in mind, okay? So all the mammals have backbone. Next, most mammals have fur or hair, like you can see in this picture right here. Mostly you will see the mammals, they have fur or hair on their bodies, like a teddy bear or a horse. A horse has long, long hairs, right? That's a it is, it's a mammal and it has backbone also. So mammals have two things. First, they have backbones and second, they have hair or fur. Okay, let's move on. Alright, let's read the next line. Birds have backbones. What are birds? We know that birds, they have feathers and they fly in the air, right? So they are saying that birds also have backbones, okay? Birds are covered with feathers. Yes, you see, feathers are these things on the birds which help the birds to fly, okay? Birds are covered with feathers. Birds have wings. Yes, birds also have wings like these. If they don't 
have the wings, they won't be able to fly up high in the air. Yes. Okay kids, uh, let's move on to the next line. Fish have backbones. Yes, fish also have backbone like the birds and mammals. Fish live in water. Yes, keep that in mind. Fish live in water. Yes, very good. It cannot live without water. If you can, if you will take it out, the fish is gonna die. Yes. Fish have scales. If you have ever noticed a fish closely, you will see these marks on its body. These are called scales. Okay. So keep that in mind that mammals, birds, and fish. All three of them have backbones. So next here what we have to do is match each animal with an animal group. So on the left side they have written the name of the animals and on the right side they have mentioned the animal group. So the first animal is Robin. This is a Robin. So tell me kids whether it's a bird, it's a fish or a mammal. Of course it's a bird. How do you know? Because it has feathers and it has wings so to fly. Very good. Next line, ham, uh, sorry, next word, hamster. Let's see what's hamster. This is hamster. It looks like a mouse. See, it also has a backbone. But what is the difference between the bird and the hamster? The bird has wings. The hamster has fur and hair. Remember? The hamster has hair on its body, hair or fur. That is why it's a mammal. Very good. And the last one is goldfish. Very obvious from the name. Goldfish is a fish. So see, the similarity between all these three is that the bird, the fish and the mammal, all three of these have backbone. See, keep that in mind that they have backbone. So, we can put them in the same group. Alright? We can put them in the same group. Very good. Thank you kids. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Stay tuned. Inshallah, I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz.